Hey guys, it's Miriam. Welcome back to my channel. If you can't tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Tracy Ellis Ross Pattern Beauty products. And so um, we're going to just get right in. So I'm going to show you what I got and then also do like a review slash chit chat um, part of the portion of this video. So I did get the shampoo. So I love the packaging. Like I love everything about it. Um, so this is a hydrating shampoo. It's supposed to gentle cleanse and hydrate. Um, it's for curls, coils, and tight textures. Um, it's creamy, as it says. And what else? It is boosted with a blend of um, glorious oils and hydration um, for buildup, but without stripping the hair of the moisture. So this is great. And then it also says follow up with the conditioner. I didn't get the conditioner because I feel like leave-in conditioner and conditioner are kind of the same thing, but it's all good. So I got the shampoo. Um, and then I got the leave-in conditioner. Again, love the packaging. Um, they all are 9.8 ounces. I didn't get the really big ones. I didn't get the trial size because they sold out. Um, but the leave-in conditioner, it says, apply to soaking wet hair. Um, condition hair evenly distributed throughout all the uh, strands of hair. Um, and then also it says like a pro tip, cocktail, um, a few drops of her argan oil serum. I didn't get that. Um, but it's kind of like the same as a wash and go or a leave-in conditioner. Like make sure you apply it while your hair is nice and wet so it's really penetrating into your hair. Then I also got the Pattern Beauty shower brush. So I'm really big on brushes and um, I use the Demon brush. But I wanted to give this a try. And so we shall see how this works. Um, I'm really hoping it clumps my curls together and so then I can pick it out afterwards. But we will see. I also love that her products are paraben free, color safe. They don't have um, um, any uh, SLS or SLES chemicals in them, silicone free, and they also don't have any formaldehyde in them. And so that's really exciting as well. I did only get the three products, but I wanted to get on here and review them for you guys. Um, for those that have not purchased them or if you have purchased them, just give you a different review. Um, so if you wanna see how I style my curls and use the products, make sure you keep watching. Now I'm just drenching my hair in water to help detangle. As you can see, I am struggling a little bit. My hair was an afro for a day or so. And so I'm going in with the hydration shampoo that has a blend of oils. It's also supposed to cleanse your hair gently uh, without removing or stripping any um, thing away. So, but also adding moisture. It has aloe vera, leaf juice, coconut oil, and honey. I'm finished shampooing my hair. I am going in with their leave-in conditioner, which is gonna act as my um, styler today in this wash and go. It um, is a lightweight formula. It seals in moisture, further detangles, and gives you a nice extra hydration for soft curls and a nice soft curl pattern. Again, it has the same oils in um, the shampoo. And so I had to go in a second time to just make sure that my hair was coated nicely. Um, and then also I'm going in with their shower brush, which I really enjoyed using. It reminded me of the Demon brush. Um, I just wanted to go into detangle again and also make sure that my curls were nice and clumped. going to put a little more of the leave-in in my hair because she does not have a styler and or like a cream so I'm kind of just um, relying on the leave-in to kind of make my curls come to life and pop a little bit and so that's going to be the wash day for today um, I started off with the shampoo leave-in um, and then I'm going to diffuse here shortly just to speed up the drying process and then I will come back and show you guys my final results I applied the leave-in all throughout my hair, so I am finished, and this is how it looks after applying all of um, the product to my hair. All right, guys, so I'm back. Here are my final results of using the three products that I got from Pattern Beauty. So let me know down below what you think. 
um, of the products and also of my results. So I did a wash and go. It's about 85% dry, so it's not fully dry. I wanted to let it air dry more so than diffuse. I did do a little diffusing, but more so just air dry because my hair does tend to get frizzy. And the products didn't say anything about eliminating frizz. I love the definition. I love how soft my curls are. I love how they're like ringlet curls. Um, so the brush um, definitely did all that work. The leave-in conditioner, again, liking the slip, but I also feel like it reminds me of the Tresemme Naturals, which got discontinued a few years ago. That was like one of my favorites from Walmart and all the drugstores. So it kind of reminded me of that. I love the scent as well. It had more of like a floral scent to it, light. I found out doing more research that there are some silicones, you guys. So I know in my first portion of the video, it said that silicone free, excuse me, but there are some silicone. There's dimethicone in here and there's another silicone that I was looking up. So anyways, if you're big on that, they do have some silicones in here. With that said, I still enjoyed using the products and I think it was worth every dime. Um, again, I just wish she would come out with a styler or a gel to make this last longer. Because to be honest, I'm not sure if it's gonna last a week in this. Um, and so I'll have to redo it. I really liked um, the products and like enjoyed using them. I hope you guys enjoyed this vi video. I hope it was very informative. Um, make sure you guys subscribe, like this video and share it. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.